At school, kids learn right from wrong, in classrooms and on the field. Police say Broomfield's former state championship winning football coach's behavior was not criminally wrong, but it did not seem right. Investigators told Blair Hubbard his pattern of behavior appeared to be grooming. Yeah. Casey Ballinger of the Blue Bench says she sees grooming often in the more serious cases she deals with. Um, a, a series of behaviors um, that an individual may utilize to um, manipulate another person to get them to do what they want, essentially. She says Coach Hubbard's alleged behavior could fit the definition. Behavior like this exchange, police have a screenshot of between the coach and a newly graduated student. Does that fake ID work for drinks in the Denver area? Hubbard asks. Well, I can always try, she replies. What's your drink? A dirty martini, like filthy, she says, leading the coach to reply, define filthy. Um, it's an individual or an adult in a position of trust um, who is, is again, b finding other ways to sort of build that trust to, to develop more of a, a friendship with an individual that it's inappropriate for them to have a friendship with. Hubbard's spokesperson vehemently denies accusations of grooming and says the young woman was an adult and the coach and her were having an adult conversation. It's pretty serious. It's concerning. Broomfield's athletic director told investigators he previously warned the coach after a complaint two or three years ago that, quote, he should not be having any private text communications with a student for any reason. Police did not find probable cause for criminal charges. The district says Hubbard resigned after he got a copy of the school's own investigation. Some of the students police interviewed spoke highly of the coach's integrity. His spokesperson says the coach's character speaks for itself and the accusations are more serious than the actions he took. Also in that police report, a student who says Hubbard asked her for photos of herself and another who says he was known to reach out to former female students after they turned 18. Kim. No criminal charges, but this is a lengthy report. It's a lengthy report, more than 50 pages, and the district compiled its own investigation in which they interviewed more than 50 witnesses as well. It was seeing that copy of that investigation, the district says, led Hubbard to resign. Thank you, Cole.